your chickens are infested with worms, there are a lot of things you lose you as a farmer. That's why worms or chicken that has affected with worms should never be ignored. And that is the reason why in today's video I'm just going to show you or to share with you uh, four main plants that can deworm your chickens and you still enjoy, enjoy all the benefits as you still When, when chickens uh, have worms, you may say that how will I understand that my chickens have worms? First, they lose appetite, uh, they just start eating low, then when they are laying, there is a drop in egg production, and when like it's in broilers or even in layers, they lose weight, and you find that a chicken has just, is weightless. So, uh, when you notice loss of appetite in your chickens and you notice a uh, loss of weight it's time that you have to go and monitor the facial matter of your chickens when you're starting to uh, investigate in the facial matter you'll, you'll notice some whitish spots like eggs know that those are the young or uh, the incubation that is taking place of the worms know that your chickens are infested with worms and leaving all factors you don't need to first check all that because when you notice all those signs I have told you, your chickens will have become more worsened and the, the worm infestations will have become very huge. That's why you have to at least do this routine as I'm going to tell you. At least you can give these plants uh, like once a week or once two weeks. It's just fine. You give, if you give these plants once in two weeks, your chickens just will just keep up uh, with no worm infestation. So, uh, number one uh, is ready paper. Ready paper, uh, you know, most of the people know it. I, do, I know that there is no any corner in the world that doesn't know ready paper. And if he doesn't know it, it's just uh, a plant that has, that all usually bears the fruits that is laid in kara or, or a little bit like orange in kara. So, ready paper uh, contains a uh, capsaicin. Uh, the, the, uh, this uh, red paper uh, deters or this capsaicin deters uh, the worms that are inside your chicken's body, and it also stops the worm uh, from uh, the worms from eating the feed that the chicken has consumed, hence dying out. Because even if you are a person and you're not eating from anything, of course you die, and any animal to slive needs food. So it means that if your chi uh, if those worms are not eating on the chicken's feed, they are going to die out and then they are passed in the stool. So uh, that is that is the rule that a red paper does. So it is first it deters where the worms has been aligned or has been attached to the walls of the intestines, and after that uh, it also uh, prevents them from eating on the feed that the chicken has consumed. Hence, of course. Uh, hence uh, dying out and uh, you may ask me that uh, uh, now how much red paper should I give to my chickens yeah uh, you have to understand uh, red paper uh, plants is toxic if it, uh, it is egg paper plants uh, if it is uh, leaves or roots all those things are all those things are toxic and it is all, all of those things are poisonous. So I mean that if you wait to give red paper, you have to give only fruit. You have to give the fruit. So, uh, and here I would recommend you to be giving one teaspoonful of red paper per five kilograms of already mixed feed. So you can just do your multiplication if you're going to give a lot of chickens. It's just you have to increase according to that. Then we have our number two as uh, charcoal. I, I talked about this uh, in one of my previous videos, but I think that you have now, you can all now uh, understand 
what I'm trying to elaborate. Chaco uh, is uh, has no nutritional factor. You have to understand this. So due to the fact that Chaco has no uh, nutritional factor, uh, it cannot limit it from having other values in a poultry production or in a poultry industry. Uh, when you mix chaco in the chicken feed, first uh, the chicken feed stay longer without being ex exploited. And again, when it comes to deworming these chickens, uh, chaco removes the toxins and the toxins inside the chicken's body. And I had that uh, in our traditional uh, medication. One one of my grandmothers told me that. Uh, when you take poison and uh, then they give you charcoal mixed with eggs, you also get okay. I, I don't know, I haven't tested it, but I, 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 maybe I'll get time and do research about it. But that is what one of my grandmothers told me that uh, when you take charcoal inside your body, and you, I mean, when you take toxic, uh, poison and then you take charcoal, nothing that happens. That's, you, you bring back the poison that you have taken in. And that, that is what it also does in poultry. It removes all toxins and the parasites inside the bodies, inside the body of the chickens. Then, uh, you understand charcoal is la it is laxative. So charcoal being a laxative, uh, uh, it absorbs the impurities, every impurities, together with the eggs of the worms. So, uh, and this uh, also helps worms. And this uh, makes the worms and their eggs dry up. Because uh, you imagine it's like an insect or a certain animal that has been used to live in a, in a wet environment. And then the water dries up. And like it, now in Africa, or particularly in Uganda, it's dry season. So you imagine if uh, we are, uh, if there is the animals that has been used to live in the wet season, all those animals are going to die, to die out. That is what charcoal does in the intestines of the chickens. It absorbs all the impurities and then makes smooth digestion. Hence, all the worms and the egg, eggs of the worms dry up. So, what is the dosage which you are supposed to give to your chickens? Uh, you have to just give one teaspoonful for five chickens. You can mix in, chi uh, in chicken feet or you can put in water, depending on your choice. Uh, then, uh, our third uh, plant or our third organic remedy is apple cider vinegar. I also talked about this apple cider vinegar in one of my previous videos. Uh, so, uh, apple, uh, this is a mild uh, antiseptic and antibiotic. You understand this? So, this means that it can also prevent worms from living in the chicken's body due to its acidic position. Remember, acid, uh, despite it being acidic, uh, it also has some of the, uh, it also has some of other minerals that are essential, and it it is also, uh, it is also loaded with uh, a lot of a uh, meaningful bacteria that can help the chicken's body. Uh, live well and longer so and uh, uh, this uh, the dosage for the the, do, the dosage you can give to uh to, to the birds you can give 4.9 mils in a gallon of drinking water when you're administering uh apple cider vinegar our last but not the least which is number four is garlic uh, garlic, uh, it's a scientific name, but I don't know, uh, it is also, if you are a scientist, uh, we call it Ariam Sativum, Sativum, eh? So this Ariam, Ariam Sativum, which, is, which we locally know as garlic, uh, is a, a very best organic dewormer. It is even more than what I talked previously in this video, what I started with. Uh, it acts as a dewormer and it is also uh, an insect repeller 
due to its distinct smell. You know, I think you understand even when a person consumes uh, garlic, you, under, you understand that this person has taken garlic just from when you speak with him. So, uh, uh, garlic has area, has a chemical compound called area. And this area makes a chicken blood taste bitter for the mites and for the worms. So it means that the worms which are inside the parasites which are inside the body and the worms which are outside the body, their blood tastes uh, it doesn't taste better for the parasites. And hence the parasite would not will just stop eating and dies up. So uh it is just a best, a very best dwarmer because uh, all the parasites inside the body of the chickens will depend on the blood of the chickens or, or the feed it is taken. So if now blood tastes bitter and it will no longer take that blood, uh, it means that it is going to die or it is going to look for another alternative or either leaving the chicken or dying. So it will end up dying of course. And when it dies, it will just be passed out in the stools. So now, what are the dosage? When you're giving a, a garlic to your chickens, you have to give. You just have to give uh, four cloves. Four cloves. You get four cloves, crush them. After crushing them, then you put them in a gallon of drinking water. If you have a lot of chickens, I, I think you just do as normal mathematics. You just multiply. So that was what I had to, for you today. Keep watching and stay tuned and uh, come and watch another episode. We are uploading every week one video. Very educative. And I know with me, you never get disappointed. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like the video and share to the farmers so that they can get all this knowledge. Thank you so much. Catch you soon in the next episode.